G'day Year 3, we're going to make a sundial because we've been learning about shadows. So on your seesaw, you've got this page. Now I would like you to try and print this out as best as you can. Now we're going to do some cutting. You can see on this, it's got some scissors. I've got to cut right across this line. So I'm going to cut like this. Now thank you to my fantastic daughter Ellie. She is filming this, she's trying to hold the iPad as steady as she can. Okay. That's step one, and we can see all our steps down here. Step two says we're gonna to need to do some folding. So, you can see I've got some fold lines here and fold lines there. So, I'm going to just fold it. Now, I wanna fold it in. So, I just fold it in here. Now, some people like to get rulers, that helps them fold, because they can lean it against it. Um, and now, I'm gonna fold it back out. That's a good way of doing it, because I want it to be like this. And I want it to just fold on the inside. And by folding it that both ways, it just makes the, the paper nice and strong for me. So now, this is the tricky bit. This is gonna be the hardest bit. This is where your parents might need to help you. We need to have a fold on this diagonal on a certain line. We're gonna fold on this number 35 because we're 35 degrees um, from latitude from the equator. So I wanna be able to fold it. So. I try and go here, and I look where my 35 is, and as good as I can, I fold it like that. Oh, that's pretty good, Mr. T, pretty good. And I'm gonna do the same again here, look for that 35. Hope this is all coming up. Oh, look, that's coming up really right on the computer. Ellie, you are an amazing daughter. I bet all the girls here in, the, in year three are amazing daughters as well. Now, I wanna try and stand it up. Now you can see, I've got it like that. I spin it around for the camera, you can see there. Hey, this has got a clock, but it's got 12 at the bottom of the clock, because we're in the southern hemisphere, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and here's your 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, it does say you can sticky tape it down, so if you want to sticky tape it onto another piece of paper, you can. The next thing you do is with the pencil, but going behind it, you can just see where the circle is, you want to try and stab, oh, that sounds like a horrible word, you want to try and stab the pencil right through the middle of that hole. And I can bring it through here. Now, you can just see a bit of a shadow coming along. Can you see that shadow coming along? I'll turn it around there. You can see a bit of a shadow. Now, that we're not finished yet. I've got my phone here, and oh, you can see the dogs there. I'm gonna unlock my phone, and I've got a compass. And a compass gives me my north, south, east, and west. And we can see my compass over here, it is there. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna turn it so that I'm going to keep on going around. I'm looking at this arrow here, and I want to be keep on going until I'm on exactly the line is on exactly south. And look at that, there it is, Mr. T. Up uh, 180 is where I want to get to. Perfect. And then I just make sure I stand it up, and we have a look at our compass, and it's going to cast a shadow. And we can see the shadow it says, I made this at 8 o'clock this morning. So this is your task. You're going to be making a sundial. Let's all say thanks, Ellie. Thanks, Ellie. Ellie's gonna pause it now.